you found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and this is our friend Bear, who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Can you imagine a town called Strictville, where fun is not allowed, and where no one has ever seen puppies before? Well, Teddy lives in Strictville. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and go see what Teddy does when suddenly there's a puppy invasion in Strictville. The Great Puppy Invasion by Alistair Hyme. One day, a puppy showed up in little Teddy's town. Then two. Then hundreds. The locals panicked. They had never seen puppies before. Little Teddy's town had a long history of ridiculous rules. Fun was forbidden. Play was prohibited. Cuteness was downright criminal. And today was quickly becoming a colossally cute catastrophe. What are those adorable things? Those eyes, I can't look away. Don't touch them, Teddy. The mayor held an emergency meeting in the town hall. We must get rid of these adorable creatures, she declared. This is too much cuteness for just one town. With all of this cuteness, we will get nothing done. Don't wave at them, Teddy. The townspeople tried everything they could to rid themselves of the puppies. They threw sticks at them. But the puppies brought the sticks right back. They tried chasing the puppies away. But the puppies grew even more delightful. Let's try feeding them, someone suggested. Then maybe they'll leave. And that's when their tails started wagging. What are they doing? Are they waving at us? No, they're trying to hypnotize us. Look away, Teddy, look away. Run, the mayor shouted. People ran for their lives. The puppies trotted along after them. They barked, they yip-yapped, they ruff ruff ruffed. Ah, uh, they sound so lovable. That's just what they want you to think. Cover your ears, Teddy. One by one, doors began to slam, slam, slam until everyone was safely inside. But as little Teddy reached his front porch, he heard a teeny whimper coming from the tiniest puppy of all. And he wondered how something so sweet and so playful and so adorably sad could possibly be scary. Just then the puppy stepped forward, sat down on little Teddy's lawn and lifted its fuzzy front paw. Little Teddy approached. The puppy's enormous eyes grew even larger. He crept closer and closer as the townspeople looked on in horror.
one by one, the townspeople emerged from their homes. The rest of the puppies sat down and lifted their front paws too. The townspeople cautiously stepped forward, then carefully crouched down to kindly shake paws with the cute, countless canines. And that's when the puppies pounced. And the townspeople discovered that they liked puppies after all. This one is soft. This one is cuddly. This one looks just like me. They gave them names. They taught them tricks. Some even dressed the puppies up in silly outfits. But most important that day, the people in Little Teddy's town decided once and for all that they would never be afraid of cuteness again. Bear's wondering, do you think Teddy was brave to try doing something new? Some say yes, and some say no, it's not hard to pet a puppy. Well, would you be the first to play with a puppy if all the grown-ups were afraid to try? Hmm. Bear says he feels braver seeing Teddy have so much fun. He also hopes you come back soon for more brave adventures. Bye for now. Please subscribe.